Well, Prisma Health EMS says it is the first in the state to use the simulation training program that's aimed at resuscitating someone. Yeah, dispatchers at Prisma Health in Oconee County are now trained to teach callers how to help during a cardiac arrest. Our Kylie Jones shows us how it works. Kylie. Yes, Sydney Jane. Well, as you can imagine, 911 dispatchers are used to navigating those chaotic and tense situations. But with this simulation training, they can now get to work faster, which can be the difference in saving a life. Because you only have 10 minutes from the time your heart stops to the time it's restarted. You only have 10 minutes when someone's in cardiac arrest. First responders say really a matter of seconds can be the difference in life or death out of hospital. Sudden cardiac arrest occurs about 350,000 times in the United States and the national survival rate is 9%. EMS and paramedics are of course trained in CPR and emergency medical response, but on the other end of those 911 calls first. My dad's collapsed on the floor. He He's not, he's not waking up. Are the dispatchers. Aaron Dix says his dispatchers are now trained to help even before EMS gets on scene. On how to get the patient out of a chair, out of a bed, onto a hard, firm surface, and then to provide chest compressions. Listen carefully and I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. He says dispatchers at Prisma Health EMS at Oconee Memorial Hospital are the only ones in the state with One, resuscitation two, three, quality four. improvement training. One, two, three, four. Simulation training so dispatchers can teach callers how to start CPR on someone in cardiac arrest. Walks them through all of those. Walks them through somebody who might be hesitant to start CPR. Walks them through somebody who's afraid to touch a patient. But we're going to keep going until help is right there with you. Okay. Dick says it's not something every dispatcher is trained for. Since we started, we've gotten faster and we've gotten better that we recognize cardiac arrest in some of the not so obvious instances quicker. You're doing a good job. Just keep going. OK, those small changes are people going home to their families. You're doing a great job. Let's just keep going. Been able to lower their uh, call rate with these 911 calls related to cardiac arrests by about 30 seconds. That means they've sped up their response overall. And with a nationwide shortage of first responders, Dick says that this has been able to give those patients a few extra seconds or even minutes while EMS is on its way. Live in Oconee County, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.